Fire guard. Ten hut. Present house. Veterans Memorial Park in Blaine honors heroes who served the USA. But now, it also salutes the Sheroes. Long before women even had the right to vote or own property, women were serving this country. At an emotional ceremony in early July, a ninth monument in the park was unveiled, one that recognizes the achievements and contributions of the three million females who have served in the U.S. military. From the Revolutionary War to present-day conflicts, women have probably served in the U.S. Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, and Coast Guard. The seeds for this monument were planted in 2018 when a group gathered to discuss the idea. It's been a long process for this. Steve Geiter, who created Memorial Park, had a vision to honor women in the military. And I had a design concept, which I thought was kind of cool. And as I'm presenting, uh, one of the ladies there goes, no offense, but you're a man. <laughs> she goes, you have no idea what we did in Vietnam. We want to be the ones that designed this monument. I'm like, absolutely, have at it. Today, over 700,000 women have served. From there, the project gained traction. The 3M Open Golf Tournament came up with the funding, and everything fell into place. The result is an impressive monument made of glass, granite, and metal with 15 tablets. Those symbolize the key points of women in service. The five-pronged cauldron represents each branch of the military, and on top of that is a bronze flame. This Veteran Memorial Park is here today because of Steve's ambitious plans to make this park an experience with the most unique and impactful monuments. Steve, this Veteran Memorial Park is your legacy. For women veterans, this is finally their day in the spotlight. We have been invisible. This snapshot in time, saluting their service to the U.S., is long overdue. Despite making up 10% of the veteran population, women are not seen as the quintessential image of a veteran. Military service by women is often overlooked in articles, books, images, and research depicting military heroes. We came home and were, were only able to blend in again as housewives. We were not allowed to talk about what we did or where we served. Today is about the incredible women who have served and sacrificed. We are thrilled that our donation could help highlight them through the Women in Service Monument in the city where the tournament is played. Once ignored, now recognized, women in the military are no longer invisible. How many women veterans here can relate to someone noticing you wearing a military hat or a shirt or gassing up your vehicle with your military license plate and having that individual say to you, please thank your husband for his service? This day was special and symbolic for Air Force vet Diane Keith. We don't want the flash to get in the way. I wouldn't have missed today. I had to have been sick or some unusual reason to not be here today. Um, when it was publicized that this was going to uh, be unveiled today, I, I would have taken whatever measure possible to get here. So it, it means so much to me. For Keith, this was incredibly personal. For years and years, I never talked about my service because nobody cared. Finally, there was public validation for her accomplished military career. When I was stationed in California, I had the privilege of being on the tarmac as a welcome home committee member for the first POWs from Vietnam. And to this day, it makes me emotional when I talk about that. Keith and others are trailblazers for young women who might want to join the military. They're leaving a blueprint to encourage and empower the next generation of young women to aspire to be anything that they want to be.